Welcome one and all to this 19th episode of DND, which stands for Daddy and Daughter. I'm Daddy, also known as Mike, and I'm Daughter, also known as Zoe. Congratulations. And today we are going to be working on our platformer game again. Uh, we were working on level, right? Levels. Mm -hmm. We were building level structure and we left the game in a completely unplayable state yesterday. Well, when, whenever it was, Friday. Mm -hmm. So we need to fix that today. All right, good. So let's get busy. Let's see what the situation is. Ah, wrong. <laughs> I opened the wrong code. What code is that? That's the code for the Thrusty Ship. Oh. It's a game that we're developing together with Mr. Fidri. Anyway, so here we go. Now we've got the level over here, and we have the reset level, which should set up both Hans and the opponents. Right? Mm -hmm. And Hans should appear on the spawner, right? It's got a spawn. No, actually, this returns a vector 3, and it also plays the particle effect. Okay? Uh, so we're gonna have to call that. Does the level have knowledge of the spawner? Yes, it does. Okay? So here, we're gonna have to have spawner give us that vector 3. Wait a moment, and then let's take a look at the character controller. Because I'm guessing, yeah, setup needs a vector 3. Okay, well, it's looking good. This shouldn't be too difficult. Okay? okay? So let's go here. And in reset, well, the first thing we need to do is we need to put all of the enemies in their original positions. With their original veloci velocities and everything like that, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to make a for loop. You remember the new shortcut for yeah, the for I loop? Do. Nice. Now you need to choose, we go for the length of the enemies, right? Yeah. So copy this, put it here. Okay, that's good. Now, for each enemy, we're going to have to place the enemy in their original enemy position. Okay, so you can literally take this and invert it. So copy this, put it here. Now cut this, put it here. And type space equals space. And now we're going to remove this bit. Save. So now the enemies have been reset in their positions. Now another thing that we, we should do is we should... Uh, actually, wait a moment. No, that's silly. Should you change the title? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, too late now. Uh, so, what were we gonna do? Um, mm, 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 I forgot to change the title on Twitch because we're streaming. Oh, well. It's okay. A bit misleading. So, setup, start position. There it is. And what happens here? Character motor. Uh huh. And the character motor gets set up. Let's go take a look. Ha, huh, see? The rigid body and the velocity and everything gets reset. So no, all we need to do is we need to call setup and send it the start position, which we need to get. But the enemy's start position will be the enemy position and Hans's start position will be the spawner, right? So let's go back to the level. So this is all wrong, okay? We're gonna go to enemies.setup, type setup, mm -hmm. open around and feed it the enemy positions. Close the round, put another winky face, save. Okay, so that's good. And now for Hans, right? Uh, do we have access to Hans? I don't think so. No. So we need access to Hans, right? Who has access to Hans? Does the game manager have access to Hans? I don't think so. We should give it to the game manager. Okay. Okay. So let's create a serialized field for now. Maybe later we'll do it differently. Yeah. Private. Uh, I'm, an, I'm a fool. This needs to be public. It needs to be reachable. So public. Uh, character controller. Space. Hands. Semicolon. But yeah, what's up? Uh, so level has a character controller. Yeah, but enemies. Oh, that's for enemies, yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Go back to the game manager. So this one's public. We're just going to assign it and then use it, right? So now we can go back to the level, and here we can tell it uh, game manager dot script dot hands. Game manager dot script dot hands. Dot hands dot setup 
open around and now we need to tell it um, the start position which we need to get from the spawner so you say spawner dot dot and what was it spawn something try spawn there it is spawn open close rounds close again semicolon same so this will both do the particle effect and return a vector 3 which we're feeding to Hans and then Hans should spawn himself okay so for now what we're gonna do save game manager as well one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put an update loop in the game manager so we can press a button to make to to appear okay? okay so here go void uh, yeah void update you said loop instead of function what you said you we would make an update loop. Oh, is it not a loop? Wait, update Does it need is loop? a loop. It keeps going. Oh, yeah. Oops. That's okay. Okay, so void update, and here you're gonna say if not is if. I hit the microphone too. Sorry. Open right. That's okay. Don't worry about it. There, I'm gonna move the microphone out of the way. Go. So if input dot get button down. Button, but when button down, then open around quote and type submit with a capital S. I think this one exists. If it doesn't, we'll add it. Uh, close the quote, close it the round. Doesn't it we'll see. Close the round, close the No, it's not a key code, it's an actual string. So you could type Zoe's face if you wanted to. Close the round. <laughs> It won't correct you, it can't know. Close around, open a squiggle, enter, enter, close it, and go, uh, oh, we need the level here. This guy has no concept of what the level is. So we're gonna create a public level, active level. Semicolon, here you can say active level, dot restart there it is hit tab hit tab hit tab open around close it semicolon Save. okay so we'll see if this works or not but we need to check if the submit input exists in the first place so and we also need to uh, give our game manager reference to the player and the level right so hans level done now let's go check our project settings input axes submit joystick button zero hmm so that's the a button I don't like that we're gonna change it to joystick button seven which should be the start button I may be wrong but so start is an enter jump is joystick button oh, no. three Wait, there's another jump here. How do we usually play? Do we press A to jump? Yeah, we usually do that. Hmm. Do, is it fire? Oh, it's fire one. That's why. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so submit, we put it on joystick button seven. I think that'll do. Okay, let's give it a save. Control Which S. Which is the start button. Should right? be the start button, I'm not sure. Okay, so now let's test it. I'm just, just gonna grab the controller here and try and press the start button, see if it works. And he started doing stuff, but he didn't. Null reference. Null ref. Okay, let's go check the null ref. This microphone cable is in the way. Level reset level. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. So, object reference level reset level. Asset scripts level 21, game manager 71. So it came from update. Okay, every time we've pressed it, level 21 misfire let's go take a look enemies set up we didn't set up the level okay so that's the first problem the level never gets set up so for now we're just going to create a start function yeah, give the controller to me it's better so void start or viod or virtual void start and open close rounds Okay, that'll do. Let's remove this. And here, here call setup. 
open close round. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now let's try and see if this guy is going to fire correctly. So first we should get a setup and nothing should happen. Okay, now I'm going to press start. Okay, the enemies are working, Hans isn't. Hans is just idling in the air. I can see that. Okay, now let's see what this reference is. PS play. Okay, we're missing the particle system. If PS is null, find the PFX spawner, blah, 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 blah. Okay, maybe we got this one wrong. So let's go take a look at the level. And there still is a... Just leave your old glasses alone, Zoe. No. I've reference. just cleaned them. Right? Yeah, that's the no reference we're looking at. So player spawners, spawner. Right? So this one is looking for PFX underscore spawn. That's why I couldn't find it, because it's called spawner and spawn and not spawner. Save. You need to be careful when you type these things, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's try this one more time. <clears throat> what about the flash? Oh yeah, it's inside. Okay, started it, still null ref. Same place. So somehow, this wasn't found. Transform, okay, it's got the spawner. PFX spawn. That's the one, it definitely exists. Now I'm gonna copy it from here, just to be absolutely sure. I'm waiting for this to load. Okay, so spawn. Copy this. Maybe I mistyped something. Paste. This looks correct to me. Get component particle system. Hmm. Save. Put that print or a debug log. Print works too. Yeah, debug log. It's up to you. Okay. Do the print because I've never done it. Open around. Put a quote. Uh, actually, copy this. Paste it here. Close the round. Semicolon. Save. Now let me see if BFX spawn. Yeah, it definitely has a particle system on it, so this should work. Okay. Let's see what the situation is. Boom. Okay, so I pressed it. We never get there. I think the problem is that our particle system. We still haven't set it up though. No, but I know, but it should set itself up. And apparently it's not null, which I find very strange. Oh, your dad is an idiot. <laughs> we need to check if it is null, not if it isn't null. <laughs> right? It was null, so it was keeping it safe. Right? It, it doesn't exist in the beginning. We were yeah. checking that it does exist, which is a bit silly. Yeah. Okay, try this again. Now it should work. It definitely should. Ready, ready, ready. There is a little Hans boy. Ha! Yes. Ha! No! no! Press start. <gasps> Null reference. Explosions. So what has happened? We have lost a character controller. What happened here? The object of, object of type character controller has been destroyed, but you are still trying to access it. What does that mean? So you're still trying to use it? Yeah, but... How come that a character control has been destroyed? It's because Hans gets destroyed when he dies. dies. Yeah, but also the enemies. So we need to stop things from being destroyed. They need to be deactivated, but not destroyed. Okay? So we're also going to deactivate all of the enemies right at the beginning. Okay? So we're going to say here, enemies... Tab. Just hit tab, it'll fix it. Square bracket i. Dot game object. Let's just hit tab. Dot set active. It's there. Open around. False. Close around, so we go. Alright, so that's how we turn it off, right? So we, we turn off all the enemies. And here, when we set them up, before we set them up, we need to turn them on. So go enemies i. Right yeah, here. just copy this entire thing. Okay. Paste it. True. So we're turning the enemies on. Save. Let's also do it with Hans. Okay, so let's copy this entire with thing. Hans. Hans. Paste it here. Copy all of this. Paste it here. Copy all of this. Paste it here. False. Oh, we forgot something important. Game object. So... Type game object. Oh, there it is. 
copy all of this, paste it here, save. Okay, so now we're turning everything off or anything on, but we're not done. I think the character motor, motor is destroy. So let's hit Control F and type destroy. And then open a RAM bracket. Just O Y. Open a RAM bracket. Okay, let's go. Okay, there it is. So this is when you kill them. Instead of destroying them, what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn it off. To turn it off, we're gonna create a new method or function inside our character controller. Hit Control M O for me. Perfect. Now here we have receive state, blah 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 blah, all of these things. Okay. So here we're gonna say. Uh, actually, let me quickly check. We're waiting for a few seconds. Uh, here we're playing the animations. Wait for a few seconds and then destroy the game object. Oh, fine, fine. So here we're gonna say public void and go kill character. Open close around. Save. Okay, so for kill character, what we're gonna do is gonna just turn ourselves off. Okay, so we're gonna say game uh, game object dot set active is false. No, no, lowercase dot set active. Seat. Open around. False. Close around. Semicolon. Save. Okay, so we're gonna turn ourselves off. That's what we're gonna do. So copy kill character. Let's go back to character mode. It's, instead of doing this, you're gonna type cc dot Paste. Then close around. Send it Now let's copy that. Copy all of this. Now let's go look for more destroys. Paste. Hmm. Wait a moment. Undo this. Hmm. Paste. No, no more. more. Save. Try again. Now let's see, when we kill an enemy, right? Whew. Hello, Hans. Fwah! Fwah! Yay! Start. And we're back. Okay. Oh, dear. So, so we got another problem. No! no! <laughs> Oi. Oi, right through. That was interesting. Uh oh. This is also interesting. I can't go. I can't go over it. It counts as a wall. <laughs> That's funny. Huh? You can walk in it, though. <laughs> you can also go through the enemies. That's very strange. So it's like their co co colliders are off. Let's take a look. Because I see no errors, right? So let's take a look at the enemies. Enemy walker. There it is. Yeah, the collider's off. The collider's off. Uh, not sure why. So if we turn on the collider, now we should be able to squash the enemy. There we go. Right? Start. Oh, the enemy only got respawned. That's odd. Okay. And now he spawned about the fight. Oh, I think I know what happened earlier. Watch. I'm going to show you something. So we have a few errors here. Now watch, watch, watch as I stomp this. This guy kills me. Ready? I'm going to restart now. Now I'm going to die. <laughs> vroom, 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 and now I'm gonna die because the coroutine doesn't get interrupted mm. so we need to stop all of the coroutines when we get killed um, and we shouldn't allow pressing st uh, we'll worry about that later no, that's just debug for now but whenever whenever we start we should stop all coroutines that's the problem with coroutines right they, they are difficult so here right here Type stop all coroutines. There it is. Open close rounds and copy this thing and paste it in the character controller in setup. Save. Okay, so no more coroutines. Nothing's happening. All right. Actually, I think that's a bad idea here. Cut it because I don't know if any of these starts one. I think the blinking starts before or could. Save. You see CM setup. And that's the character motor. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's go back to the motor. Cut this one too. Paste it here. So how do I know that stop all coroutines is going to work? How? Save. You hover on it and it tells you stops all coroutines running on this behavior. Does this mean that 
we will stop the coroutines on the character controller here. In the function? Here, yeah. Will we stop the, the coroutines? No, I think it means the whole script. Yeah, which script though? The whole of this script, character motor. That's right. It only affects character motor, and this one only affects uh, character, control. character controller, right? So these are independent, but they should work just fine for themselves. Okay, so that's good. Um, so that's one part fixed. Now, another odd thing is that the when the enemy is born, right, or when the character is born, for that matter, it looks like their colliders are off. Is actually Hans's collider off when we when we restart? Oh, oh dear, Unity magic. Type anything. Save. Give. 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 All I do is give. Delete this. Is it gonna wake up? It's compiling down here. Yes. Good. Okay. So let's again try to finish the thing. There we are. Howdy! Okay. Now I'm gonna start. All right. So one of the enemies isn't even there. I don't even know what's happening. But let's check if we have our collider on. So the enemy doesn't have a collider on. The pro walker is still squashed, I think. And I don't even know where. Oh no, it's just tiny and squashed. But he is there. He is in his correct position, still with the collider off. So there's a few things, right? And I think that's because of the coroutine again. Right? So we need to restore the size to whatever it was before. Then let's take a look at the player. They're still in the air, though. My guess is that Hans's collider is also off, but no, I'm wrong. His collider is on, probably because we never turn it off. Oh, but he's very sad. He's He, he was blinking. That's he was right. just blinking? Good yeah, man. Look at him, look at him, look at him. In his posture, look at him. Look at him. That's a man if I've ever seen one. Watch. Huh? Do you want to see him jump? Huh? Look at him. I think we can... Hit F twice. Oh, no. Oh, I think there is a way. Come on, I can't remember. Look at him smile. Oh, I see a small bug. Hit, hold, control, and shift. With the other hand, lazy. With the other hand. Okay, hold it. And now get ready to press P. Now. No, I think this is just the gizmos going through his mustache. Yeah. Yeah, it's his gizmos. His collider is doing that. Yeah, if you turn off the gizmos, well, this is already annoying, but it, it's his collider. It's his head collider, or like his mm, capsule collider yeah, going through his stash. It doesn't matter. Look at him. Look at him in his splendor. Look at him. Hi. He's jumping up. It's funny, this character. I like him. So we've got a problem that all of the characters have their colliders off when they when they are respond, and also their well, the enemies. Char yeah, their character size is wrong. Right? So, <laughs> I'm not sure how that happens. Um, I think that the character motor changes the size. So, I think we should probably just take the transform and rescale it. But let's see what they are. Do they have an initial scale? One and one. They may have a larger scale. I don't know. We should probably record it. Right? So, let's do it in level. Nah, that's silly. This has to do with the actual character. So let's do it in character controller, okay? So okay. in character controller, we're going to keep um, start face rotation. So we're going to keep a reference to our size. So go private. Yeah, private vector three. Uh, start size. Semicolon. It's a variable potato. Okay, so here you want to create a void start. That's not ideal, by the way. Open close round. Okay, that's good enough. And say start size equals transform the local scale. Or start tr tr tr. Start tr tr. <laughs> start size equals transform the local scale. Semicolon. Save. Okay. Perfect. 
Um, so in setup, right, we're gonna say transform uh, after the transform the position yeah, right here. So transform dot local scale local scale local equals you should know equals start pause. And we just put that. Start yeah, pause for the scale. Yes, yeah, start pause for the scale. And then we need to do start pause for the rotation, right? Are you insane? Start position for the scale. Start position for the scale. Are you out of your mind? That's the position. It's not how big Hans is. Yeah, right. Come on, Zay, use your brain. You've literally just made it. Start size. Does that not give you a hint? Save. I told you, I don't want to waste my time. Pay attention. Are we clear? Yes. Thank you. My hours are pretty precious, so let's not waste them. Yeah. Okay, so transform local scale, start size, um, to start position, that's good. Now the rotation, I don't know that it matters. In our game, we're never altering the rotations, I don't think. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I think we have start rotations for the facing for certain characters when they do do it. I don't know. So um, that's the scale. Now one other problem that we noticed was that the collider was off. So let's go take a look. So here we pick up the collider, right? But the collider doesn't turn on. So if it's off, it stays off. Mm -hmm. So here you're going to say collider dot what to turn it on? Uh, activate. You no, can try. Set active probably. No, look, it's not there. What else? Right. What other options do we have? Uh. It's a component, so it works differently than your ob an object. Set active would be for a game object. Oh. It's a component. How Set do you component then? Well, it's already a component. So how do you how do you look at a component's activity? It's a bool. You then active. Okay, try active. Maybe. So type act. No. Okay, no. That's cat. Try act. Uh. Nope. nope. What other option? A synonym of active. Uh, alive? Mm, no. I doubt that. Oh, enabled. Mm -hmm. Equals? It's a bool. Equals true. Yes. It is enabled, so it needs to be true. That's right, there. so we need to turn it on. Uh, okay, so let's take... Oh, another thing. You notice that the enemies stay in the air. Yeah. Why? Because their position isn't reset. No, the position is reset. That's why they stay in the air, but they don't fall. What do they the need? The gravity. Yeah, that's true, but gravity is assigned. What effect... What is affected by gravity? What controls the physics in a... A rigid body. So the rigid body is probably disabled. So go RB. RB. Dot, dot enabled. enabled. Oops, that's equals. Uh, can you even? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I suspect it's going to be is kinematic. Yeah, probably. There. Is false. Because is kinematic makes him immobile. Equals false. Fairly sure it's this semicolon state, or it may be constraints, but I don't think so. I think I think we made it kinematic. Okay, so let's take a look now. So obviously the first time we play, everything's fine. Uh, maximize and play. Pause. Pause. There we go. Okay. Wow. All right. So everybody's there. Yeah. Now let's kill him. <laughs> no. Uh oh. So what else doesn't change? He's dying. His animation. Yeah. Everything's fine, but his animation stays broken. So we're gonna change the trigger of the animation. Mm. But you see, every oh oh oh, the other one. The scale it looks like is still broken. Let's take a look now. I'm gonna kill this guy and then restart and pause quickly. All right. So let's take a look at the walker. There he is. His scale is correct, but I think. Rigid body, character controller, everything's fine. The model, animator is fine. The walker, skin mesh render is fine. Hmm. Hmm. Where is it? That's strange. Walker uh, rig, enemy walker. Wait a moment. So everything's fine. Here. It's there. It's there. See that red dot? But we changed the scale. 
So, are we reducing something else in the scale? Yeah, that's silly it. Yeah, I can see him. That is a good eye, Zoe. I wonder though, what is it that is... Let's change this to two. Wow. Yeah, so... Oh, it could be, could be pure luck. Okay, start. So that works. I don't understand. Okay, hit. Pause. Okay, so what's going on? Wait, uh, I've already done it. So let me take a look here. Scale, two. Makes no difference. Yeah, we were purely. It's still there, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. So it's not the scale, it's something else. I don't know what. Player size. This is the. Oh, interesting. Player size already exists in the character motor. Huh. Okay. I don't see it. The model seems to be the correct scale. Let's look at the other walker. So pro walker, same thing. Model looks correct. Walker looks correct. Walker rig looks correct. Maybe it's the root bone? No. Looks correct. Body. Aha! Uh -huh. The body's tiny. The body's tiny. That's the one. What the what the what the that's strange. Maybe it's an animation. Yeah, it should be actually. Yeah, I think that our problem is exactly the same as before. Meaning I think the animation of the character squeezing it remains that way, remains tiny. Because the animation doesn't get reset. But that's I don't quite understand it. So let's go take a look. Asset store, that's exactly where I wanted to go. Okay, animator. Let's take a look at our animations. Let's go to the walker. So there it is. So when the walker gets killed, die squish, right? Let's take a look at death squish as an animation here. Hit play. Aha, uh -huh. see? So his bones go small. Right? But then when we restart, we should go to the walk animation, but it doesn't happen. So the character just slides about. Okay? At least I think that's what happens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new uh, a new transition from any state to walk. Like so. Make transition. And we're gonna create a new trigger. What are we gonna call this one? Uh walk. Reset. Oh, so we yeah, force like him. Yeah, reset. Reset. So okay. we force him to get bigger. Well, we're forcing to go back to the walk animation, which should already have a big bone, big bones, right? So, um, reset, we're going to make it super tiny, it's going to be basically instantaneous, and we're going to say, reset, boom. That should make him go right there. Now, let's take a look at all of the other animations that we've got, because all of them need the same thing happening. So, Hans' eyes, do we have something to reset the eyes? Blink, I, d I don't see it. Oh, there's something. Yeah, reset. Okay, so we have a reset for the eyes. This got a reset too. Yeah, but you want to check the transition between any state and idle. Reset for the stash. And, and any state to grounded locomotion. Nope. Any state, make transition. Add, trigger, reset. Hit enter or square bracket. Okay, here. Now we're gonna take this all the way to the left, make it tiny, 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 tiny. So it's super fast. Add a condition, reset. Okay, save. So we've added reset animations on all of them. Now all we need to do is launch them. So the character motor usually takes care of this sort of stuff, right? Uh, and the character motor should have. Where is the character controller? Okay, receive expression, trigger expression. Do we have an expression called reset? I don't even know where they are. Let's go take a look at expressions. Stash jump, stash stomp, alive or dead. What does alive do? Reset, reset. Perfect. So all we need to do is alive. Does anybody do this? So change state, hit control F. Let's go to all open documents. Sorry. Set up in a live. Okay, so let's go take a look if character controller sets him up. Walker, Walker Pro, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Receive expression, receive state, change state. 
who who calls the setup let's go here hit control r twice and change it to setup expressions shift e expressions so it's easier to find hit enter control f no again control f that's better okay so setup in character controller does it easy okay so that will work no problem now uh, we need to deal with our uh, animators right here so cc facing rotation blah, 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 whatever before that you're gonna say animator it's lowercase the way it's a variable come on yeah animator and... there it is dot set trigger and they're all called reset open round quote reset close round semicolon that should be it for all the characters right away no problem all right now let's try yeah wait a moment let's give it a macro save save everything boom boom what is macro oh. Oh. again unity 2018 it has trouble save you Okay, now it should cry. It should go like that doesn't compile, does it not? Save. And now let's see if our friend here will wake up. See this little thing? It's indicating it's compiling. Okay, uh, all compiling errors. I think it's right. Yeah, it's probably that didn't clear. Yeah. Good. We're good. Awesome. Alright, ready? <laughs> Bonjour! Je suis Hans. <whistles> But he's not French, he's German. Ah, uh, guten Tag! My name is Hans. There we go, everything's working. <laughs> See? I'm just pressing start whenever I want to. Oh! Oh, oh he fell through the world. I can Why see is he that. Falling through the world? Not sure. But basically, it's because I'm restarting in the middle of that animation, so I'm not really sure. Something's off. But. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I'm kind of thinking about cutting it short because we did do quite a bit. But one thing that we can try is we can enrich our level. So let's try that for a bit. Okay? There. Give okay. it a shot. See, your level should be... Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, nice shot. Your level should, should behave in a completely predictable way. Stuck. We could fix that later. <laughs> Death. I'm stuck. Oh, nice. That was a cool combo. All right. Sounds good. Now Should let's. Go combo in the middle of the stream. Sure. Anything else? Don't pay me enough to do this. Okay. So asset store. No. Enough going to the <laughs> asset store. You hear it said. I want to go to the asset store at all costs. Okay. Sounds good. So now we've got our obstacles. Now we can create more obstacles. Right now, let's keep progrids on, so we can play around with the obstacles. Okay, so okay. duplicate this floor. No, nope. my bad. Duplicate this floor. This floor. I press Control C. Yeah, well, press Control D then. Potato. Okay, so this one can be a ten, and because you have progrids, it's gonna snap. Except, it's too mild or something. I don't know. Let's go to one. Floor three. There we go, now it's snapping properly. Properly. Okay, so we put shall we put one over here? Duplicate? Yeah. One over here. Mm-hmm. Duplicate. One over here. Then let's put enemies on them. Yeah, sure. So did you did you wanna keep these enemies where they were or did you wanna move let's them? Let's move them, move it. Okay, when when do you, where do you wanna put this walker? Let's put one walk let's put Remember that one this one falls. Yeah, that one falls. Yeah, what about the pro walker? Where do you want to? Up there. In the middle? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay, duplicate him. Put him on the other side. And then let's put two and three enemies on the floor. Okay, Wa uh, walkers or pro walkers? Walker, walker, pro walker. Okay, duplicate this pro walker. Here? Yeah. Now that. Now duplicate. walker. Here. A little farther to the right. Okay, duplicate him. Now, you remember you need to check the, the direction they go, 
right? So which direction do we want this walker to go? Right now, he is going to the right. And I would like to move this, okay. the spawner, up in the air right here. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. Right here? Yeah, right there. That's okay. good. Do you want a, a, wa a floor underneath it? Probably a good idea. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's okay, so floor. duplicate this floor. Oh, so now the spawner disappears, so hit the minus, go up by one. Oh, hit the minus again, go down by one. Okay, no. there we go. Now we got that, there's a spawner, that's good. Now, do you want uh, to check the walkers where they're going? So everybody is, no, all of the wa all the pro walkers are going left, all of the walkers are going right. I would this like... means these two are, are clashed and start walking on the other side. I would like this one to go left and this one to go left too. So these two will go left, these two can stay and this one will go right. So I'm changing the starting direction of this guy. The, the, you say this one is going left now and this one is also going left. I said this guy is going to go right. Uh, I mean this guy is going to go left and this guy here here is going to go right. I'm touching the screen a lot which people that, can't That's see. okay, don't worry about it. So what about... Um, Okay, that's already correct. What about these two? Because they're both going left. Do you want both of the first? Uh, well, this one can go right. Okay. Let's see how your level looks like. And that's, guys, a very, very basic way in which you can do levels. It now, we've made a high. mistake. We've put our spawner and obstacle too high. So let's drag this obstacle, drag it down. Here you can see the camera. So, yeah, let's do it here. And the sponge our spawner is going to not work again. We need to reduce this by two. See, I've pressed it twice. Yeah. Okay, now we can go back. Okay. Play. Now I'm gonna try and then you try it. Fwah! Bonjour! <whistles> oh, that's a good start. <laughs> it's <Fwah>! a day. <laughs> no! no. no. Ah! <laughs> Boing! Ah! Bang! <laughs> What do you want? Ah, get out of there. This is a bomb. Okay, I win. Your turn. Nice. <laughs> Look at them spinning. <laughs> Death. No. Poor fella. He dead. <laughs> yeah. He dead again. Oh, oh. oh madness. Oh, oh, okay. Wait. I think we can figure out what's happening. It's like a trampoline. <laughs> I think we can figure out what's happening. Well, Let's restart. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't think so. Well. I think you broke it. Oh, he's dead again. Okay, let him die. Okay, now press start. No, still doesn't work. So, something's wrong with Hans's uh, bounce state or something. I don't know. We'll check it in the future. <laughs> yeah, well, that thing clearly shouldn't collide with you, right? So we'll worry about that later again. No, just don't worry. It shouldn't have a collider at all. Well. I'm not even sure what it does. Doing. Nice work. Yes. I win. I'm bashing my head. So I have an idea. You know how we were talking about making level levels. This kind of looks kind of interesting. What if we did a game that it's all similar to the original Super Mario? Have you ever seen the very first Super Mario? Uh. Uh, very first super very, mario. very 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 first one no i don't think so mm, i'm gonna show you so the very 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 first one super mario was actually not called super mario i don't it, i think it was Jumpman. that's what it's called <laughs> that's how it's called that's funny yeah, well that's what it's called so let's go to Jumpman. and put him on the that's a yeah type Jumpman here jump quickly yeah hit enter you have to put it on the other sides of people. Oh dear. Wait. Chumpman video game. Yeah, I know. Videos. But I just... And that says gam. Yeah, that's what game, game. So the way Jumpman used to work, okay, was that I think it was called this way. Anyway, uh, there it is. 
Uh, there it is. Okay, so the way it used to work is you would only have a room. You didn't have a level. Per I mean, you had a level, but you didn't have levels that scrolled. And there was the princess. That was Peach, right? And there was Mario down here. And Mario had to, like, do all sorts of crazy things to avoid the barrels that Donkey Kong was chucking <laughs> his way. I didn't so know Donkey Kong is It was kind of a weird mix of games, right? There he is, the original Jumpman. There he is, right? And... Ah, there you go. That's the classic level, right? So he would dump these barrels and they would fall down. You would have to jump over the barrels and avoid them. And he just came over. Right? Yeah, but that's how it used to work. And I think we could make our game more or less similar to that. So we could make little levels and they have loads of enemies, maybe even a way so to Bowser spawn enemies. So Bowser didn't exist yet? No. Uh, and maybe we can figure out some kind of objective to get from point A to point B or something like that. That'd be cool. So with that said, I think it's a good place to stop for us. What do you think? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So yes, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.